So what do you make then of the uh, Victims and Prisoners Bill uh, that is progressing through the House? Is it strong enough? No, as it is, it's not strong enough. It's very weak. It has no teeth in that sense. But well, I'm really delighted that we're having an opportunity to put it in mm. legislation. Um, now, let's remember, legislation is for the professionals. So for me, as Victims Commissioner, and as I've said in the Chamber last week, I'm also here as Helen Newlove to bring all them voices that I've heard all over the years mm. um, to make sure that you know we have accountability, we have accessibility to support victims through the criminal justice system. and. As, as it stands, it has no teeth. So the victims commissioner, not me. Uh, I am at the moment, but I'm not looking yeah. for. You know, I'm not begging for the continue. What I'm yeah. saying is, the person who takes the role over needs to have the tools and the powers to be able to make sure the criminal justice agencies are compliance with everything that should be given to victims.